Hi, good morning folks. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2017 on a 17 plate uh, Ford Transit Custom 2 litre TDCI tipper, double cab tipper as you can see. So it's a seven seat version um, in a good all round condition, I've got to say. So it's a one keeper from new. It's 56,000 warranted miles. Um, literally, apart from a valet, uh, and uh, going over the uh, rear tub with a bit of black hammer, right, if I'm honest. Uh, it's in pretty good condition. Uh, that's all we've had to do with it. Um, even inside, it came into us with some seat covers on it. The seat covers have done a job, but obviously they've preserved your seating and your interior. Your rubber floors are in good condition. I'll show you all of this on the video now so that you get a good idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. So we're going to start up here on the roof. Uh, we've left everything on it basically, so up there you've got your uh, high level warning light, uh, your side um, yeah, your side lights up there are on the roof as well, they're all good. Uh, and we've got just a little bit of, see the sun is going to play havoc with this video today I'm afraid, but we've got a little bit of tea cutting and polishing and touching up just to do on the edge roof there, where they all just... Uh, take a bit of abuse from flies and stones and stuff but we'll get that sorted windscreen wise it's covered in dust and believe it or not it was only cleaned yesterday and finished off cleaning this morning but yeah this weather at the moment beautiful blue skies but uh yeah plays havoc with us i'm afraid anyway i'm waffling on uh stone chips windscreen nothing that's going to cause either of us any issues when it comes to mot time coming down onto your bonnet again nothing major to point out to you you will always get minor bits of wear and tear on the front end of the vehicle, micro chips and stuff like that, but there's nothing significant on this vehicle. Nothing that makes me go, oh yes, I'm gonna to have to get that painted or touched up. Your passenger headlamp unit, that is all in good condition. Passenger side front bumper corner, as you can see. I think we've got a really small scuff just down, right down on the bottom there, which when you stood up, you can't see, but the rest of the front bumper corner on this side is all good coming around to the front of the front bumper that is all good as is your grill obviously your grill has a lock on it here in order to open up your bonnet i can show you under there shortly your driver side headlamp unit that's all in good order driver side front bumper again that's all in good order and if i look down the side of the van i'll try and put my hand over the lens to give it a little bit of keep the sunlight out of the lens um right there is nothing major to point out to you on the body of this vehicle uh, it is in, in particularly good condition for a tipper in my eyes um, <clears throat> steel wheels steel wheels can still do with another clean we have cleaned them once we'll give them another clean uh, and there were elements of corrosion on your steel wheels but you have on your front tires i'd suggest those have recently been replaced so there's plenty of tire tread depth on there your driver's side front wing is all good your mirror unit has a really minor scuff on the actual indicator part um, but is secure and all pretty good uh, your driver's side door door glass is all good although it's down at the moment it's about 30 degrees it's sweating um, but your door glass is all good your door itself is in good condition as is the rear door and rear door glass on this side. Again, all good condition. Uh, your side strips coming down the side of the vehicle are in good condition. Your seals underneath are in good condition. Tipper rear tub, we have photographed it up. Uh, there's no problems with the, uh, with the way it works or anything. Looking at your chassis underneath, we have properly cleaned that for you. Rear steel wheel on this side, elements of corrosion on it. The tire itself has plenty of tire tread depth on there as well. Side, oh, your side marker light this side and on here are all in good order. So the steel tub on the back end, they're the hard working, they're, they're a lot more hard working than the aluminium tub. Obviously the downside is, is that they tend to rust a little bit more. What we have done with this tub is we've had it in and we've jet washed it off, we've wire brushed it off and then we've just coated it with uh, black hammerite, if I'm honest with you. It's as simple as that. Just gives it a fresh, a fresh enough look, doesn't it? But it's a tipper with um, obviously drop sides as well. So sides will drop down for you. Back end of the vehicle, we've left all the warning 
Um, oh, uh, yeah, the fancy luminous stuff. Yeah, well, there's a name for it, isn't it? It's gone straight out of my head. But yeah, yeah I've left all of that on. You do have a tow bar, as you can see. Your lights are in good order as well. Uh, it does have a reverse camera. At the moment, we can't get that to work. We will have a look at it for you and see what we can do. Your upper stanchions, shall I call them? I'm sure there's a fancy name for them. I don't know what they are. As you can see, they've got element of corrosion on them. I've got some yellow hammerite on the way, courtesy of Amazon. We will wire brush those down and get those painted so it's nice and yellow for you again. Uh, tub this side, again, all good. I mean, it's just uh, good to point out really that your sides of your tub um, and even the back side of it, um, you know, these can quite often get ripped out. I don't know what you boys do with them, but yeah, this one isn't too bad at all. And just looking into your tub, you know, yes, there's marks on it, but it's, it's solid, isn't it? And with that metal flooring as well, it's a lot more hardy. So, you know, we see some of the aluminium ones with the wooden floor and they just don't last any time at all. Um, steel wheel this side, elements of corrosion on it, but the wheel itself pretty good, as is the tyre. That's probably recently been replaced as well because there's loads of tyre tread depth on there. Having a look underneath at your chassis. I'll pull it up in a second just so you can have a proper look underneath it. All pretty good. And then the front tub, uh, as you can see, uh, no major damage on there at all. Passenger side rear door, all good. Your strips going down the side of the vehicle are in good order, as are your sills. And then driver's side, front steel wheel, again needs another clean. Avon tyre on there, and again, that's got loads of tyre tread depth on it as well. Passenger front wing's all good. Your mirror unit this side's all in good order. Upper and lower. Uh, opening up the inside of the vehicle. So we have minor marks on the door cards, as you can see. Um, but the painted parts of your doors are all in good order. Your entry steps on this side, as you can see, the plastic parts are all in good order. Your rubber flooring inside the vehicle is very clean and tidy as well, as are the back of your seats. Headlining, no rips or tears, and the seat trim, etc., and the seats themselves are actually in really, really nice, clean, tidy condition. It isn't a van that's come in covered in mud and dust inside. Um, it's, <laughs> it's not really, I think it may have been out on lease to the council, but yeah. Um, anyway, door card, door trims, entry sills, and then your flooring inside. Again, I'm battling, the, I'm battling sun and shadows, but hopefully you can see your flooring inside is all good. Glove box. Um, yeah, there's your book packet in there. Uh, we will get rid of the other stuff that's in there, to be fair. I'm not sure why it's still not in there. Um, but yeah, that's in there. Fascia of the dash on top, etc. All in good order, as you can see. Coming around to the driver's side of the vehicle. The passenger compartment on the driver's side. Again, elements of wear and tear on your door card here. But the most important part, the painted bits, etc., are all good. All of your entry sills and steps are all in good order. And so back of the seats. So at the moment, we haven't even had to do, we haven't had to have the seats out. We haven't had to give the, um, the seats a wet vac. It is as it's come in. Um, so, you know, silly little things. Look at the back of the seats there underneath, you know, it's not covered in dust and mud and stuff that you would find when they've been worked hard. Door uh, strap, as you can hear when I open up the door, it's clicking at the moment. These things, they're a pain in the arse. I'll have to order up another one from Ford, but we will get that sorted out for you. But just to point out, if you're having to look down the door edges, you can see level of detail and cleanliness. It's all nice and clean, isn't it? Your door sills, entry steps are all good. Rubber flooring inside, that's all good. Pedal rubbers are all good. Driver's seat, the squab, entry squab is all good. Driver's seat base itself is all good. Only part it could probably do with with a bit of a wet vac is on that little bit there. Yeah, obviously everybody's having their lunch as they're driving along. Hey, at least that's, let's, let's hope that's what it is, but nah, it's, it is, isn't it? Um, central locking, electric windows, 
door card driver side. I'll step out of the way, get uh, the shadows, but hopefully you can see that's all good inside. There's your bit for your um, trailer. Uh, manual lights, uh, rear fog lights, cup holders. This is for your rear tipper deck, okay? So we turn it on that way, and then it's simply raise or low. So if I hit the raise button, and then up she goes. And as you can see, that works fairly effortlessly. So I'll just hold it there. And then you can see on your ladder chassis, it's clean and tidy, isn't it? Underneath your deck, all solid. Back of the uh, passenger compartment, as you can see, is clean and tidy. You know what it's like with tippers. They'll get covered in concrete and tarmac and sh shite like that, for want of a better word. But this one is clean and tidy. So that all works fine. And hit the lower button and we lower that down nicely. And down she goes. So you can see that it all works properly. Um, it's giving you more viewpoints of the inside of it. Steering wheel itself, steering wheel, let's turn that off now. Steering wheel is in good order as you can see. It's not worn smooth, it's clean and tidy. Elements of, of a minor bit of wear on it, but yeah, on the whole, all pretty good. Let's all trip up and fall into the vehicle. So, fire it up. It's just telling me at the moment that we're low on fuel and the vehicle is on and I have a driver's door open. But I close all of that up and it's just telling us that we're low on fuel and the handbrake is on. Little button here on the steering wheel will run you through your computer system on here. Uh, gives you your range and all of that malarkey on it, doesn't it? So, um, you have another little button here. Press that and that opens up your compartment in the front there and you've got another power outlet there. Light for your warning light on the roof is there. Uh, electric windows, driver and passenger. You've got manual ones in the back, I think, if they open or actually, no, I don't think you have opening windows in the back, they're just solid. Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. Um, that is your reverse camera, which as I say, is not working at the moment. You do have your reverse camera, uh, your reverse bleeper, as you can hear, because I've just engaged reverse gear. It is a six speed manual gearbox, telephone holder is here. These are your heated controls here. Um, yeah, you know, it's a pretty good truck, I've got to say. You know what you're looking at, if you're looking at tippers, you know how hard to come by they are at the moment. Um, but this one, on the whole, is pretty damn good. Now, to open up the bonnet, you go left and then right with the key. Now, normally, you wouldn't be holding a telephone at this point. So, bear with me one second. Yeah, spin that around. And then just looking underneath your bonnet, your bonnet bolts and your wing bolts... Uh, are all in good condition, show no signs of bodywork being off. There is your brake fluid, there is your windscreen wash, there is your dipstick, there is your oil filler, there is your power steering fluid, uh, and there is your um, coolant, of which it's the right colour for Ford, and there's no contamination in there either. Just generally looking underneath the engine bay, yes, we've cleaned it as part and parcel of what we do, but in actual fact, you know, with these tippers, they can do a real hard, heavy job, uh, heavy work. And uh, generally, if they've done that, you'll never clean it all off. But this one, as you can see, again, it's pretty damn good condition. So there we go. 56,000 mile, one keeper from new, seven seat, double cab tipper, uh, Euro 6 as well. So if you're going into any of your emission zones in Birmingham, London, Bristol and Bath, you all could for that. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country in Worcestershire. We can offer nationwide delivery, finance and part exchange. Um, if you need any further details, feel free to give us a call on 01905 672080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com. There are 60 to 70 votes, uh, photos on our website, which is vanstoday.com. Uh, and check us out, our reputation is on the internet. We are on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, what else have I forgotten? 
um, yeah, uh, Google. Um, uh, check out our reviews on there. I think you will find we're a small family business um, and we stand on what we say we do. Um, thanks very much for looking at the video. There's 15 minutes of your life that you won't get back, but if you're interested in buying the van, it's uh, giving you a good viewpoint of it. A lot of people will just buy blind off these and get them delivered to them. So, thanks very much. Speak to you later. Cheers, bye.